for the for the contract, y'all. It was just a little like maybe a Denny's restaurant somewhere near Wildwood, Florida, somewhere in that vicinity. And she went with Tony down there because she did she just still didn't believe everything. He walked up to the booth and looked at me. Ashley was on the side of the booth, right? He walked up to the booth. He let me drive by in the eyes. I made eye contact with him. And then he turned to tell me, he said, what is she doing? He said, what? What is she doing? Did he say it in a tone like that? Yes, he was very angry. She met Sullivan in there, and he said, some, well, what's she doing here? And he said, that's my girlfriend. And, and uh, But she was there in prison when the money transferred. He wasn't there. Did you actually see him push the paper across the paper as you were looking at That's when I turned and looked at the paper and the well manicured can. And then Tony put this hand on it and took it from there. And the other guy pulled his hand back. If you were to see that person again, would you be able to identify? Most definitely. He has destroyed many lives. If you would, Miss Train, life for you. To look around at Scorpion and tell me if you see the person that you saw in that restaurant back in 1987. So do. Please, point him out. It's right there. You can't even make eye contact. It's wearing glasses, white, gray hair, blue suit. Are zones folded or not? It's folded. We want to make a record reflect. The witness has identified the defendant, James Sullivan. Well, after all these years, she was able to pick Sullivan out as being the person that uh, um, paid Tony Harwood the money, which is really, really significant. Did you say anything to Mr. Sullivan at the time he gave you the money? Do you remember saying anything to him? I told him that I didn't kill his wife. So what about the money? What about it? Why did you go to pick it up if you didn't have anything to do with it? I was scared. I mean, what's he going to think if I don't take the last part of the money? What were you scared of? Him. Why? He paid me to have somebody kill his wife. You, I mean, you don't think he want to take care of loose ends? I have served on juries before, so who knows what's going to happen. We, the jury, find the defendant, James Fitzgerald. <laughs>